The other thing you can do um, when you have your bangs that are too long and your hair's in your face and you're gonna be outside working, make sure first of all you're protected with One United. One United has sun protection in it for color preservation. So you wanna preserve the color. So one thing you can do is you can take your fringe area or your bang area, twist it, cause it'll give you something to put the bobby pin into, and then put your pin in. After that, what you can do is take each piece of hair so you're going to take a section like this okay and what you want to do is you want to split it in two so whatever's hanging off the side I want you to split it in two and twist it then separate them and hold them like this in one hand one of them has my pinky the other one has my index finger then what you do is you add to the front piece twist it again and hold it and then you're gonna take another section of hair that's hanging out, add to the front piece. Take those pieces, twist them together. Take another section. Now I'm kind of behind my ear, right the hair hanging down. Add a piece, twist it one time. Again, take another piece, add it to the front, twist it. So what this is, it's more like a, uh, like a, like a twist. So you take a piece, add it, twist it around, take a piece, add it, twist it around, add it, twist it around. When you get to the bottom, what you can do is um, keep a hair clip nearby and just kind of clip it. These little guys we're gonna tuck in later, don't worry about them, because if you have layers or bangs or something, you're gonna get a few little pieces that'll stick out, but we'll take care of those. So once you get to the bottom, stop, and you can go to the other side. So I'll kind of show you. So you take your, take your hair, split it into two pieces, just two, you don't need to know how to braid here. It's not really braiding, but it kind of looks braided when it's done. So I'm gonna take a piece, add it to the front. See how I still have two pieces? When I meet up with the other pieces in the back, cause I did this one side, right? And then I just did this one then I can just take a regular ponytail and combine them together. If you want to make it more interesting, you can tuck it in and do a little topsy tail if you want. And then it kind of looks unique. You can't really see this, but I can pull out some of the pieces. But there, in the front, I'll kind of take this little guy here. And if you keep your little bobby pins nearby, you can get decorative bobby pins. And sometimes you have like, sometimes we have little pearl bobby pins or diamond bobby pins or something kind of cute. But in general, here you have something that's a little more interesting than just a plain ponytail.